Welcome back, Flare community. Today, we're actually going to do a walkthrough of the process of migrating a DeLorean NFT from FLR Finance from the Ethereum chain onto the Songbird network. It's actually really simple. And if we go over here to Twitter, you can see that FLR Finance have actually released their collection. And we can have a quick peek at that right now. Um, these actually include Samurai NFTs, but also the DeLorean NFT as well. And as I mentioned earlier, they was actually initially launched on the Ethereum network. And now we're going to have the ability to bring them over to uh, the Songbird network. So that's what we're going to do today. So what we're going to do is follow this walkthrough here. It's a Medium article by FLR Finance. And this is what it looks like. It looks like this. Here we go. And I'm actually going to be linking this in the description below. So if you want to walk through this yourself, then please feel free to do so. But if you want a video walkthrough, that's exactly what we're going to do today. Now, as a precursor, I do actually have a ledger device. I've plugged that in and I'm ready to go. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to go to MetaMask and make sure that you are signed in with the account which holds the DeLorean NFT. And as you can see here, I'm connecting to the Ethereum network because the Samurai NFT currently exists on the Ethereum network. Now, what you have to do is go to a platform such as Rarible or OpenSea. I quite like Rarible. Uh, this is my account. These are my NFTs. I've got quite a few to be fair. Um, but as you can see here, this is the DeLorean NFT. Now, this is the original one. The artwork has obviously changed on Songbird, as we saw earlier. And um, as you can see, I do actually own one, one of about 5,000 here. So what I'm going to be doing is going through the process and showing you how to bring this onto the Songbird network. It's straightforward and very simple. So going back to the guide here, before you begin the burn process, make sure that you are connecting with the account that contains the Samurai or DeLorean NFTs and make sure that you have enough Ethereum to pay for the gas fees to burn the actual NFT. And at the time of writing, gas fees are around $2. As it mentions here, MetaMask was used for this tutorial, but many other wallets are also compatible. It doesn't matter how you do this or which application you use, but it's the process of burning the NFT. So we're gonna walk through this on MetaMask. And I've obviously, as I mentioned before, I actually have a um, ledger device too. So you want to go to your um, account here on Rarible. That's what I'm on. This is the DeLorean NFT. My account is up here, Flare Community, you know the deal. And if we scroll down, uh, we're gonna try and find, yeah, view profile, which is very simple. You know, you can come here, click on this view profile. Oh, there we go, right at the top and scroll down, find the DeLorean NFT. Here it is for me. And yes, what we have to do now is click the NFTs dot, dot, dot here, the menu, and then you select the burn option. So if we go ahead right here, uh, we can find it just to the right. There we go. Took me a second to find it myself and click on this burn option here. So you're effectively destroying the NFT. So do you want to burn this? Enter an amount. I've only got one. Maybe you've got some more. Enter how many you want to burn. Click on burn tokens and give it a second. Here we are on uh, MetaMask. I've got to confirm it here. Then I'm gonna have to accept it on my device. Accept and send, there we go. And that's pretty much it. Processing, here's the transaction hash. And I'm just gonna wait and hang about until this has been confirmed. Uh, but while we're waiting for that, we can actually go down here too. So select burn. Um, we've gone through that process, confirm the transaction. And once the transaction has been confirmed, click close and continue. So just waiting for that to be confirmed. This is Ethereum, so hold your horses. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how long it's gonna be, but I'm sure I can uh, fast forward after that's being completed. But for now, we're gonna continue with this. So 
what we can do is copy our address. Um, you can either copy it here or you can just go to MetaMask at the top. And this is the address, obviously. Click that. As you can see, the burn, the burn is actually still uh, processing here. So I'm going to give that a minute. Um, da, 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 da. Yep. So if you are unable to burn the NFT, burning is actually just a process of uh, sending uh, an NFT to a null address or a black hole address. And that's what it looks like. Zero X followed by many zeros. But anyway, hopefully you could do this by um, variable. And now we're on step nine. Open Ethereum scan. This is basically a block explorer. I'm going to open that up here. Paste in the address. Uh, there we go. It's confirmed pretty fast for Ethereum, maybe. I don't know. Um, faster than what I was expecting, but it looks like the transaction's been confirmed. I'm going to go here, paste in the address, and you can see here that 38 seconds ago, there was this burn transaction, and that was of the, uh, the NFT. So we click on the transaction hash. Here it is. We want to copy that. If we go back to the guide here. Um, there it says, you know, paste your address, select the transaction hash, copy the transaction hash, and then we just need to go to this form here. Open the FLR Finance NFT migration form. And I'd highly recommend going through the official sources. You can either find this link on uh, Twitter here at FLR Finance, or I'm also going to leave it in the description below. So don't follow just some random uh, link that someone's provided with you. Um, go through the trusted sources, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to open this up. So here we have the actual form here. Um, we're going to scroll down, username, uh, I guess, Flare Community. Uh, choose platform. Twitter. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to quickly switch that up. Uh, there we go. Give it a quick at symbol there. Um, which NFT are we migrating? We're migrating the DeLorean NFT. If you're migrating something else, obviously select that. And we're going to click on next. Uh, please verify that this is the NFT you are migrating. Um, yeah, we already know that it is this NFT. We've gone through the process. How many copies did you want to burn in this transaction? We just did one, but obviously you can select any amount that you want. And please submit the Ethereum or the Etherscan transaction showing that you burned the NFT. And that's what we just copied just a moment ago from here. So we've got the transaction hash and uh, yeah, copy that and basically just paste it in. Really simple and straightforward. Uh, if you want to double check that that's all there, well, it definitely is. Uh, do you want to migrate another NFT? This is the only NFT that I hold. Unfortunately, I didn't get any of the Samurai NFTs, although I did try very hard, uh, but that competition was uh, very fierce. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to click on next. There we go. So the form has been submitted after you click submit, and that's pretty much it. So now all I have to do is wait and the NFT is actually going to be sent to the same address. So uh, if we scroll down here, um, verify the correct NFT, input the amount, all of this good stuff, the transaction, and select submit. So here's the conclusion. That's it. You have now burned your NFT and completed the migration form. Once all entries have been verified, Songbird equivalent NFTs will be sent to the address which performed the burn transaction, okay? So if you're logged into an account, as I am here, um, you can actually just switch to the Songbird network or any other network that you want, but obviously you want to switch to the Songbird network if you want your Songbird NFT, and this is the address which is going to be received in. Really simple, really straightforward, and um, yeah, this is a quick peek at it. Hopefully be receiving mine pretty soon. In my opinion, I like this one much better than the um, original on the uh, Ethereum network. This one is actually just a template, but this one 
uh, it's definitely all homegrown and obviously the designer has some serious talents so um yeah it looks pretty good to me and i'm just going to aw await it to be uh received so i really hope you enjoyed the tutorial again links in the description if you want to follow it along yourself uh pretty straightforward process i'm sure you'll agree and uh yeah that's pretty much it thank you all so much for watching please feel free to like and subscribe and until next time i'm out mission control we have liftoff